Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to take a look at everything we know so far about Rainbow High Season 4. Starting off with the release date. So apparently from the schedules that were posted by Eo That Boy Doll on Instagram, we can kind of make out that the Season 4, which they refer to as Series 4 here, uh, is supposed to debut sometime around March. And it is the end of February right now so i would think any day now we're gonna get an announcement that season four is coming very soon or maybe a little teaser sneak peek and i mean like a proper sneak peek not just like a little clip of a new character in cgi you know like animated in their animated form like actually like an announcement because we haven't really gotten any announcement of any form shape or form uh since season three ended so we should get something some kind of revelation very soon i think you know series five uh which is not even really uh classified as a core series on the box or anywhere else like even rainbow high on the posts of the new doll collection they don't refer to series five quote as series five they refer to it as you know spring 23 collection so uh the new collection of rainbow high dolls is already coming out in the us it's already out in stores you know online and stores so i think you know now that the dolls have been uh released at least in the us i think any day now we should be able to a get a notification when season four will start dropping and also on netflix season three will uh come on as well shortly after you know sometime around uh march as well so that's good in case you only watch rainbow high on netflix even though it's on youtube and youtube's for free so honestly i don't understand why why they um <laughs> why they you know always drop season the new season so late on netflix when really like it, the chances of people only watching rainbow high on netflix and not on you know youtube is very low since on youtube again it's for free and it drops immediately so i don't know anyway we did get a peek of shadow high series two characters zoe electra and monique verbena is happening with the shadow high rivalry with rainbow high uh has that disbanded are they okay now on good terms um we'll keep talking about this as we get to the other sneak peeks and hints but uh it does seem to look like maybe that kind of they're coming to a truce at, at least uh and that may be partially due to the circumstantial events that will happen in uh, season four but i guess only time will tell uh but for now at least we get to know uh and we get to see how zoe and you know monique look like and it's also interesting how they we did get a little sneak peek of new character priscilla perez at the end of a new compilation video titled you know pink characters or it's just it's all about pink characters in rainbow high it's like compilation uh at the end we got a little sneak peek at priscilla perez and she said this i'm priscilla perez and i'm gonna make it to the top by being over the top go team rainbow high so right away this feels very much kind of giving me a very similar vibe to rainbow vision you know team rainbow high team shadow high it very much feels like this is still going to be an ongoing theme in season four as well but like how different how similar is it going to be i mean we know there's going to be some kind of competition just going off of you know again team rainbow high team shadow high it's still and it's still a thing but maybe they mean it in a different way and it's a different kind of team rainbow high a theory that i have is that the series five quote and series two shadow high characters will be split up into teams of you know the two different schools you know for instance priscilla with carla and you know monique with dia or daya they will be split up into two groups like that with rainbow high characters and shadow high in each group and they will have to compete in a fashion runway competition so that is my theory right now but again as we get into the other clips um it kind of reinforces that theory maybe a bit and also like where would it even take place so i'm not sure but either way priscilla I love her character uh i love her little you know accent and like her vibe she looks gorgeous and uh i mean if she looks gorgeous like this i can't wait to see the other series five characters um and just come to life because it's just it's so 
it's gonna be so good and uh whatever happens with the actual plot at least we get to see uh some brand new gorgeous looking characters <laughs> i just hope it's not a mess like rainbow vision because we all know how that turned out then next up we have the last two sneak peeks which are both from tiktok honestly and uh, this first one is a tiktok where luna and sunny you know we get to see them do the wednesday dance and we get to see their uh, our first look at their new outfits that they're going to be wearing in the upcoming two pack that'll be releasing this year sometime around the fall time i want to say um and retailing for um Ooh, the price is escaping me but it's two rainbow idols so i think like around 50 60 50 40 50 yeah 50 is a good price uh range i think that's gonna cost very similarly to the devious twins and of course the storm twins because it is a two pack um but in this case it's a two pack with one rainbow high and one shadow high character and of course what better pairing than the madison madison twins with soon Su 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 <laughs> suna <laughs> luna and sunny <laughs> um and then of course the other thing that's very interesting is that where where are they dancing where is this location is this a new location where what is this place um a lot of people actually have been i've been reading comments and a lot of people have been saying that this could be their bedroom uh which in that case wow uh they probably live in a really huge mansion because that's a huge ass bedroom okay <laughs> I, don't, I don't think i don't think it's a bedroom uh it just it doesn't really it doesn't make sense like it, it would be a huge bedroom and then of course also like just the um the actual like there's a big round center in the middle which i forgot to mention in my uh video is that it says project runway uh and so that's a uh, project rainbow or runway uh and that obviously like why would they have that on their floor in their bedroom so like i don't think this is in the bedroom in any bedroom i think this is probably in rainbow high or shadow high but like or maybe it's like a mix, maybe it's a new school. Maybe it's like not even a school. Maybe it's just a new location where they're doing this competition from. And that's why it's split into the middle. And uh, there's different, you know, aesthetics for Rainbow High students and Shadow High students. Um, and there's the Project Runway uh, on the floor because it's obviously, it's all ties in back together to my theory that this season four is gonna revolve around a ongoing Project Runway competition. So I feel like that kind of makes sense. And I don't think it would make sense if it was their bedroom. So, I mean, honestly, like, see, like, like let's see. Um, maybe this location doesn't even like show up in the season. But uh, given that, again, it looks like an important location, I think it will. And again, it's probably like maybe a new location or maybe it's like a mixture. Maybe it's a, a new building of between, again, Shadow High and Rainbow High, I feel like. And also because if Shadow High is like the school across the street, maybe there's like a actual like um, bridging point where it's like built upon. Ooh, that would be very interesting. So like, let's see. And then the other TikTok is this one that they posted, you know, for Valentine's Day, uh, where it's Monique, uh, Kaya, M Maya, M what's her name? The girl from Neon Shadow, the pink one, <laughs> Mar Mara. <laughs> Maya it's it's Mara and then Priscilla we got to see them uh do a little dance uh and then of course the new additions are Shadow High series to Monique and uh, series 5 Priscilla Priscilla really just shows up for like two seconds like I really wish that they would have rather you know showed her like instead of like Kaya or Mara because she's a new character uh but maybe they knew they didn't have like enough shots of her re ready and renditioned to put her in a TikTok so I'm not sure but basically it's it seems like a you know whatever kind of valentine day special but you know monique is dancing um going through the halls of rainbow high now again this plays into the theory where shadow high characters are now at rainbow high not because they're like you know sabotaging or anything it's because they're actually like the location that's the location where it's gonna take place where a whole competition is gonna you know take place so that kind of plays into that whole idea and um that's maybe why they're all at rainbow high and maybe that's also why the you know they're connected to shadow high because again there might be like a bridge point location between shadow high and rainbow high that is this new location that we've been seeing in these little clips so that's very interesting and that we also get to see the um the rainbow vision tour bus from the rainbow divas so that also looks really amazing maybe we'll get to see more of the tour bus in season four maybe it'll 
play a bit play a bigger role as a location <laughs> i don't know we only ever got to see like two scenes um you know so that was really not a lot so uh and it's a whole place that so like i really i really i mean maybe we'll we'll probably never get to see it again i mean i, I mean i don't know <laughs> um and then of course also the little you know cafeteria or what what's it called it has like a specific name but i forgot but it's like the cafe where kaya actually you know works so let's see if we get to see these locations more in season four and if again my theory is correct that you know the shadowhead characters are at rainbow high or in Another new location where this whole competition is going to take place with pairs of two of rainbow high and shadow high mixed uh, groups that they have to you know compete in this runway competition to see who can put out the best designs and uh who will win it's giving me like um next in fashion or like uh like an america's next top model or something like a competition tv show reality reality tv show uh like tyra banks or i don't know which show which, which show she was on but like i think Amer america's next top model right so it's giving me that and like if they keep on also like doing that same gimmick where like in pacific coast high where they did like the um you know like uh, like shaky cam like the uh like the office style if they keep doing that like interview like uh as well like kind of like in the interview format um like they actually that's actually how they did priscilla so i think they might actually do that so if they keep also using that you know kind of method um to break up the episodes that would be genius because it's so funny and uh, i'm it honestly like i wish they would have done that more with season three uh, after they only shot like the one ep first episode of Pacific Coast High and obviously Pacific Coast is no longer happening so I wish I would have kept using that method to like add a little spice of uh, funny and you know because it's it's really funny and uh, honestly it's like a really nice break of like the whole pacing especially you know Rainbow Vision it was like a whole mess um, so I really hope that they keep using that you know interview style uh, method you know like reality TV style uh, interview uh, format to break up the episodes and just add a little more you know humor into the mix because honestly like I, those moments I'm not alone like a lot of people love those moments um, and uh, I think they will and I, I can't wait <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I think this season is going to be really big, uh, bigger than last season, honestly, maybe because last season Rainbow Vision really dragged at the end. So to me, uh, it might be bigger in a sense that it will be better executed and it won't be like, and because it's not about like a, you know, music competition, um, it won't be as uh, music heavy and there will be less a uh, time um you know given two music style video portions in the episodes that really took up a lot of runtime you know so i really hope that they get rid of that and that it really move more focuses on the characters uh character development and also it doesn't forget about the original cast of series one series two uh series three series four characters now we're, now we're up to series five so i just hope they find a good balance and a good um they ha I hope they have a good writing team to flesh out the characters and the plot in a sufficient way and it doesn't again it doesn't end up being a train wreck like season three and I have I do have a good feeling so I really hope uh it just that my feeling proves right uh and so far I think my theory again about this being a fashion show competition this being a new location you know the groups being uh made up of rainbow high and shadow high students and they have to find a way to work together and coexist and maybe down the road down the road they might even become friends like i feel like that's a very good um story plot so uh i i mean it would be silly not to do that i mean i literally just said it and it was like in less than two minutes so uh it just makes sense let's see what actually happens uh but i'm very excited again march i think uh march may we're supposed to we're gonna get uh, at least i think like at the beginning of march we're gonna get a little uh announcement uh if not uh by the end of march uh i really hope it's soon <laughs> I really hope it's soon. We've waited long enough, you know? And that was my video on everything we know so far about season four. Let me know what your thoughts are, uh, speculations and theories of season four down below. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dull tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.